six Sunderland players who failed to live up to the hype. At six, it's Emmanuel Jacarini. After impressing at Euro 2012, Jacarini swapped Juventus for Sunderland in the summer of 2013. The Italian showed flashes of his talent at the Stadium of Light crowd, but struggled for consistency and left in 2016. At five, it's Connor Wickham. Signed by Steve Bruce as a youngster from Ipswich, a lot was expected of Wickham, with top clubs such as Liverpool wanting his signature. However, it was Sunderland who did manage to sign him, but in the end it probably wasn't worth it. Wickham did play a key role in Sunderland's great escape in 2014, but the Black Cats would cut their losses one year later, selling him to Crystal Palace. Age 23 now, Wickham just looks like wasted potential. In at number 4, it's Torrey Andre Flo. Back in 2002, Sunderland were linked with signing Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Instead, they signed Torrey Andre Flo and Marcus Stewart. Flo looked to be a good investment following his time at Chelsea and Rangers, but it never really worked out for the Norwegian on Weir side. Flo would play just 33 games in red and white, scoring only 6 goals. Anyone know what Zlatan's up to now? At 3, it's Jeremy and Lenz. Signed by Dick Advocat in 2015, it looked as though Lenz would provide the creative spark that Sunderland had lacked for so many years. The Lenz and Advocat reunion was a short one, with the manager leaving the Stadium of Light less than three months later. Unhappier times were ahead when Sam Allardyce arrived, with the Dutchman falling out of favour and stating he was unhappy at Sunderland. Lenz said, I did not come to the Premier League to sit on the bench. Currently on loan at Fenerbahce from Sunderland, Lenz has since said that he hopes Sunderland go down so that it's easier for him to leave. Wow, what a dickhead. At number two, it's Josie Altador. Almost a comedy figure on Weir side, Altador only scored one Premier League goal for the Black Cats. He arrived after scoring 39 goals in 67 appearances for AZ Alkmaar, but the American was simply awful at Sunderland. However, he is sort of a hero now on Weir side after they swapped him for Jermaine Defoe in 2015. Defoe has scored countless key goals for Sunderland, while Altador is banging them in for Toronto, so really, everyone's a winner. And at number one, it's Jack Rodwell. The midfielder looked like the next big thing at Everton, but those hopes were killed as soon as he signed for Manchester City in 2012. Rodwell looked to revive his career in 2014 by joining Sunderland, but we're still waiting to see any kind of promise from the England international. Yes, that's right, he's been capped three times. To put things into perspective, Sunderland hadn't won a league game that Jack Rodwell had started in until the 4th of February 2017. He signed on the 5th of August 2014. Jack Rodwell certainly hasn't lived up to the hype. So that's our top 6 Sunderland players who failed to live up to the hype. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.